Hi folks, let's see if we can get the Triumph Acclaim started today. See you in a minute. Right, well as you know from the last video, we got the carbs back on, um, we got the rocker cover back on, and I needed to get the uh, fuel up to the engine, to the fuel pump, just to make sure that there was no crap in the fuel line. And as I said, I was gonna put it through the uh, fuel filter and then into a container, which I actually did. I turned the car over, I charged the battery up, turned the car over, and no fuel was coming up. So uh, I put fresh fuel in the tank, by the way, so um, there had to be another problem. Well, one of my subscribers made a comment that I was going to put a fuel filter in here, and he told me that there was actually one under the back rear wheel on this side. And um, so anyway, so I went to the back wheel, took the back wheel off, and sure enough, there was a filter, and no fuel was getting through the old filter. So over the years, it's obviously gone hard inside, and no fuel's passing through it. So lucky enough, I had a spare fuel filter, which I've put on, and um, then turn the engine over. So we've got fresh fuel now up to the carburetor, so that's connected up now. Let me show you where this fuel filter is. If we come along to the back wheel, on this side, as you can probably see over there, that's where the original filter is actually situated, in there, in this little, little sort of carry case which bolts onto the side of the fuel tank. Well, I've got to get that one out of there, but I actually had one. As you can see, they're very, very similar. The only thing different with this one is that the spout is slightly bigger than these ones, so the hoses haven't gone fully on, basically. But uh, I don't know whether you can see, but there's actually fuel in there now, and that is fresh, clean fuel. And, uh, yeah, so while I was down here, I had a quick look at the brakes. I've given all this a wire brush. This was all flaky. And as you can see, it's not in too bad a nick under here. I've just re-undersealed all this up here, basically, just to tidy it up. It has had a patch welded in there before, by the looks of it. So um, that was all nice and solid, but I'll give it a coat of paint anyway. But with the drums, as I say, it's uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too much problems with these because the brake pipes and everything is all in good condition. And that's the handbrake cable there, as you can see, which is, uh, that was really caked with um, grease and uh, oil or stuff like that, what the uh, previous owner had covered this whole rear section in. I mean, that was like that. I don't know whether you can see that there, but that there's the mechanism there for the handbrake, which is covered in thick oil, so none of that's rusty or, or withered away or whatever. So... Uh, that was all down to the previous owner protecting everything. And as you can see here, everything looks to be in pretty good order. So yeah, that's the fuel pipe. And I'm, I'm, I don't need to put one in at the uh, bonnet area now because I didn't realize that it did have one down there. So I will put the original one back in there when I get the uh, one which I've ordered. So as I say, I'm intending on possibly trying to start this today. And that means I've got to get the cooling system all, all rigged up and uh, get the radiator back on, get all the hoses connected up, top the system up with antifreeze now and a water mix and then give it a go at starting and hopefully the timing should be within tolerance so i can time it up properly when we actually get it running so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to put you on a time lapse camera to put this lot together because i don't know how long it's going to take and it might be a bit boring to watch so i'll see you when we've done it Right, baby, baby, we filled up the cooling system now. There's no we, you. We filled up the cooling system, baby. You're here to help me. And now I've called upon Sharon just to give me a hand. Right, can you just fit the distributor and put the old plug leads on one, three, and four, two, please, in that firing order? <laughs> Do you know, I'm looking where it's going, I haven't got a clue. Come here, let me show you. Right, can you pass me that Phillips screwdriver there, please? You know what that is, don't you? So the shortest one, which is that one, which is number one, that goes up the top, right, okay. So if we just put that on that way. I did have the rotor arm on there, didn't I? Yes, I did. 
Yeah, I forgot we've been turning the engine over, haven't we, anyway, so um, that's why the, the uh, distributor's moved. <laughs> so let's just do this cap up. I've not taken the plugs out and cleaned them, perhaps I should have already done that, but um, I haven't done that, so um, if it doesn't start, then it's my fault again. It's just me trying to rush it to get it, see if it starts. Right, so the shortest lead, which is number one, that goes into the number one position, which is down the front here. The next longest one, which is number three, which is that one. Because the engine, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. So number one, obviously, is that one. That was the first firing order there. This is number three, because the engine actually rotates anti-clockwise. So this is the next one, so it goes on to number three. Which is that one over there? No, it's number two, isn't it? I've put it on the wrong one. Look, that's number one. <laughs> I could me that I'm getting excited. Number one, number two, number three, which is that one there. That's it. That's number one and number three. This one should be the longest one, which is number four. Which? Hold on. Yeah, they're all different lengths, dear. Yeah, that's number four, goes over to there. And the final one, which is number two, clips into there and goes into here. You may remember that we've got that uh, heat shield to go over here. That's what I needed to tap these holes out for. That'll keep that up out of the way then, won't it? There is, I'm sure there's another clip that goes on there. Just pull that through there for a minute. There we go. Keep away from that exhaust. Right, so technically speaking, if I've put that, which I have on them marks that was already there, we should be somewhere in the ballpark. That's if I haven't got a, a tooth out on the uh, cam shaft again. So what I want you to do now, baby, is to go over in the in the car. Yep, you you know to open the front door, don't you? Right, okay. If you want to just sit yourself in, you are now in a triumph for claim, baby. <laughs> no comment. Right, keys are already in it. Yeah. Put the ignition on. It's out of gear. I've already checked it. Is the lights come on? No. Turn the keys again. Oh, I've got the battery connected up. Hold on, sorry. Turn the keys off. <laughs> Turn the keys off. I disconnected the battery last night, didn't I? Typical me. I thought she didn't have the key turned around full enough. I wasn't going to shout at you, Sharon. It was a health and safety thing. I don't have the uh, battery connected all the time, just in case there's some sort of short. So, wait there. <sighs> right, okay. Um, that's on there. I've left the cap off there. There's nothing in the way there. Can't see any water leaks at the moment, so everything looks okay there. Let me go around to the other side. Well, I'll tell you what. Right, turn the ignition on. You should have ignition now. Right. Now, you might want to put your foot on the throttle because we've got to fill the carbs up with petrol. Yeah, they've got a choke over there. Look, see the choke oh, lever? I've never done a choke. You've never done a choke? I've never done a choke. <laughs> Hold I've on. Done right, that's the choke lever down there. We want to pull the choke out. Just to put the choke on for cold starting, you see. Now, if it revs high, you might slowly want to push the choke in. All right? But it shouldn't do. Go on and try turning it over. Don't forget... <laughs> Keep going, there's no petrol in the carbs yet. Pump the throttle. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. I can see something dripping out the other side of the car. Wait there. Turn the ignition off. It says on here there's no petrol. Yeah, well, don't worry, there's petrol, love. Right, well, I can hear some sort of sparking. Oh, I ain't got the blink distributor cap coil on, have I? Look. <laughs> right, just try and start it now. Yes! How about that? Oh, it sounds lovely. Just push that choke in a little bit, Sharon. Not all the way, just half back. Keep going. Hold it there. Throttle a little bit. 
keep going, keep it ticking over. Oh, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? Not too fast. That's lovely and quiet, isn't it? Right, stop for a minute, turn it off. You turn the ignition off, yeah? yeah? Right, leave it off for a minute. Hey? No, the choke the choke baby is for cold starting. So just try and start it again. Take the choke out a little bit because it's still probably cold. That's it, now start it. Go on. No, it's do it again. Don't. That's it. Just push the choke in a little bit. Oh, that's. Oh dear. That's it. Just let it warm up for a minute now. I want it to warm up. Yeah, that sounds really nice. Just push it in a little bit more. That'll do ya. A little bit more, that's it, a little bit of throttle, that's it. It's only until it warms up, you see. Yeah, Got. yeah just take the choke out a little bit further. There we go, yeah. All right. She sounds a treat. Right, now, put the heater on, fast speed. Yeah, put the speed on the fast. Now, we want it to warm up now. And we want to see, we should be getting heat out of there, yeah? Which we didn't have before. It's only cold chat, it's only just started. No, we, you, we feel blowing, I can feel the blowing. It's on the window, that's fine. We'll put it down to the car then. Oh, Alright, okay, hold it there. Just put the choke in a little bit. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, obviously the timing's a little bit out, as I say, because um, it's not idling properly, but... Uh, I want to get these hoses warm. What's the temperature gauge say, Shell? Hey? Right, we want to get the temperature gauge up, you see. That's just oil burning off of the manifold and stuff, so that's no worries. Sounds lovely, though. I will do the static type, uh, the ignition timing. But as I say, I just want to get it warmed up for a minute. It's a bit lumpy, but uh, that's due to the timing being slightly out, probably. Right, well, there you go. That's the uh, Triumph started up. We're just going to warm it up now. This is only a little quick video anyway, just to show, show that we've actually got it running again now. And um, So let's just show you inside again, Sharon at the wheel of the Triumph Acclaim. What do you think of it, baby? Well, it's nice. It's oldie worldy, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a little bit lumpy to tick over at the moment, but... Um, we're just waiting for that temperature gauge to go up a little bit and hopefully that will uh yeah you'll run out of petrol buddy i won't i've got fuel put a put a keep it ticking over it's all fresh fuel in there you see 
I've, um, yeah, it's a little bit lumpy, so the ignition timing definitely needs doing. There you go, baby, the triumph for claim, eh? It lives again. Temperature's coming up now. Look. I'd like it to live somewhere else. Eh? I'd like it to live somewhere else. Baby, this is your Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd rather a puppy. It's all in good nick, it's all in good nick, though. I know it's all very dusty at the moment in here, you probably can't see it. But for those acclaimed Triumph uh, acclaimed fans. Oh, it's moving up, look, the heater, it's off the sea. Yeah, well as I say, I'm gonna go and check the water now to see whether or not it's um flowing yet. I don't think it is because the thermostat's not open anyway. But all these seats here, as you can probably see, these are all original and probably barely been used to be honest with you. So uh the roof lining's all there, there's no rips in it, or that could do with a clean. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit lumpy. Hose is still um, soft. Keep it ticking over, baby. Go on, start it again. You can probably push that choke in now, but you might have to keep it ticking over. Keep it ticking over. It's not hard work, baby. I could adjust it, I suppose. I can't remember where the... Um... Just put your foot a little bit on it, yeah? We'll pull the choke out a little bit then. Not too hard. that cap on. It's come up to temperature now hopefully. Go on, one more time. Is the heater on? Yes. Oh, you didn't tell me the heater's working so we know we've got circulation now. So it's definitely fine now. Alright, you can leave it off now. Turn the ignition off, baby. Well, there you go. Happy with that. The trunk for claim is finally starting up. Everything looks to be okay. I can't see any leakage at the moment. So, I'm quite happy there. I don't know what happened with that car burst situation at the back there. That seems to have cured itself. Maybe it was coming out of the overflow, I don't know. But um, I will investigate and I can't see any dripping, dripping out at the moment. So the heat is working then? Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. Come around here, baby. Quick. Come on, baby. Hey? Yeah, you'll be all right. Come on, say ta to everybody. So there you go, try for claim working. Just got a few bits of tinkering to do, obviously. I'm gonna do the ignition timing, maybe. I'm gonna, not gonna do that today. I'm gonna to have, to to have an easy one today, baby. Like yesterday. Well, we got it going now. That was the main thing, wasn't it? What was that? Oh, okay. Butterfly. Like Butterfly, should Yeah, it's your wallet. <laughs> yeah, and I just realised I didn't put the engine earth on as well. That's another thing I've got oh, to sort of do. I could have blown up, could I? No, you couldn't have blown up, darling. Don't worry about that. Right, we're gonna see you later on anyway. We'll see you again in the next video. And until then, Bye-bye. Bye for now. See you later.